Hi, this is Jill from Fabric Garden Quilt Shop in Sacramento, California. Welcome to our weekly Thursday Facebook Live. We start at 515 every Thursday. And um, if you don't join us live, you can still see the offerings on our website. But sometimes things sell out by the next morning. So it's a good idea to join us live because um, sometimes things do sell out. So um, during our Thursday Facebook Live, we like to show you new lines of fabric that have come in and blocks of the month and programs that are coming up and have a few special sale items for you. Oh, good afternoon, Nora, I see you. <laughs> and so today I spent quite a bit of time checking in new fabric. I didn't get through all the boxes, but I'll show you what I got through today. So I checked in an absolutely gorgeous line from Lewis and Irene. It's called Heart of Summer, and it is soft and romantic, classic, very beautiful. So I'm gonna hold up some of the bolts. Um, uh, the lighter ones, you're not gonna be able to see the print. So I will just show you a print on some of the darker colors because you just won't be able to see it. So this one with the yellow background, you can see has butterflies and flowers. And each print comes in four different backgrounds. So it comes in a very light background, a beautiful periwinkle background, kind of a purple periwinkle. It's much lighter than probably you're seeing on the video and yellow. Um, so let me slide those across. Um, I love this little one that's got the little seed pods that are floating around. Um, this is my favorite, but you probably really can barely see it. It's this really light, soft purple and pink. And the focal on this, um, I'm gonna turn it sideways so you can see beautiful focal, again in four colorways a light blue periwinkle, uh, white, and also some of them have a really light pink background. We were kind of joking today, one of the blues, we thought, oh, that is, that's a beautiful light, light blue, and turned out they wrapped it on the bolt with the wrong side out instead of the right side out. <laughs> but it's got a really nice little blender. I'm gonna show you the, the yellowish version so you can see what's printed on it, but it's got these pretty little vines on it that is lovely. Um, um, Heart of Summer has got a beautiful free pattern that goes with it, and uh, it's, you can download it from the Lewis and Irene website. Um, we'll get it added up to our website also. So uh, that's Heart of Summer, Lewis and Irene. We've got a really fun line from Wyndham Fabrics called So Good. That's S-E-W, good. And it's some novelty sewing prints that would be fun to make bags out of. It's got some lines that are sewing pins. And the we also got the sewing pins in a really bright uh, strawberry pink too. And then there is sewing thread in both gray and a, oops, I'm losing the bolts here, gray and green. Oh, those are heavy, two at a time. Uh, my favorite is the scissors. And it's probably hard to see in the video, but this has, would you say that's pink? Yeah. Yeah, the background is super, super, super light pink. It's really pretty. Beautiful for a tote bag or something. Um, then there are some strawberries. I think they look like strawberries. I'm thinking they were probably thinking like little strawberry emeries or something for the sewing line. And... Then we bought a binding fabric from this line. And this is what's really cool about this binding. And it's hard to see it in the video, 
but there are cutting lines on this. So you are, you know, you would buy like a yard of this and then you would cut on the little gold lines on this. And when, then when you fold it, depending on which way you turn it when you sew it on, you will either have these little scallops showing or the polka dots showing. So you can choose a polka dot binding or a cute little scallop binding. Now for the piece de resistance, we just received Tilda's brand new line Cotton Beach. Spectacular. Tilda is um, Australian and uh, the designer is Norwegian, but Tilda is world renowned for their beautiful fabrics. Um, very kind of reminiscent of Liberty of London, but with her own twist. So Cotton Beach is all about, uh, the prints are more sea oriented. So there are prints that have kind of uh, coral, Thanks, thanks, Melly. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, coral. Um, and again, there's multiple colorways of this. Uh, there are, the blenders in this are cute little seashells, and there are six colors of the blenders. Um, there's some really cute sand dollar pieces in mini colors. Um, I love this seashell piece, uh, gorgeous, and again, multiple colors. And then there's a lot of little, little, they're not really flowers, they're anemones, sea anemones? Yeah. Sea anemones uh, in, multi in different colors. This, and Tilda supports their lines with lots of, um, free patterns, so we'll get those downloaded and um, available for you also. But we just checked it in today, so we, we're still working on all these things. There's also a cute uh, bolts, couple bolts in this that um, are people that are really cute, could be used pillowcases, pin cushions, um, it would be really fun to like put little hats on them and dress them up. <laughs> okay. Ooh. And I just thought I'd show you, we did cut some fat quarters. Oh, that's heavy. Some fat quarters and half yards. And it's just all the colors are beautiful. Okay. If I can put that down. Okay, so those are the three lines I checked in today. I have more boxes to check in, so we'll show those next week since I didn't get through all of them today. Um, I thought I would pull a few things off our Notion wall. Our, we have so many notions on the Notion wall that you could spend an hour standing there and still not know everything that was there. So I thought I would show you some things you might not know were on our Notion wall. One of them is a silicone Apple Fuse mat. So this is very similar, if you cook, it's very similar to a Silpat. This is a fiberglass and silicone mat. So you can actually, when you open this up and you can lay it on an applique pattern, you can see through it. Um, so it helps you put all your fusible applique pieces together right on the mat and lift them up as one piece. This is also great if you're using a glue gun. This will protect your surfaces up to 500 degrees. So a nice handy little project for fusing and crafting. The other thing you might not know we carry, it is a product called Grippy. Now, if you have the Creative Grids rulers, you don't need Grippy. But if you have some of the Studio 180 rulers or some other brands of rulers, this is a spray that you can spray on the back of your rulers and after you spray it on, not too heavy, 
and your rulers will still move smoothly on the fabric, but once you put pressure on the ruler, it will no longer move. Um, over time, you do have to respray your ruler. The grip doesn't last forever because it does uh, pick up little fibers and things over time, but I just give it a rinse, my ruler a little rinse in warm water and respray it. So this is a really great product. I use this on all of my Studio 180 rulers. And one more item you might not know is on our Notion wall. Um, these are the Schmetz, and these are called needles, and they are called super non-stick needles. So they are coated with a special coating that if you're sewing through steam -a seam heat and bond, any of those fusibles, it will not stick to your needle or gum up your needle. So if you've been having an issue when you're sewing through your fusibles that you have to wipe your needle down, this will solve that really nicely. So super non-stick needles. So um, before I show you our sale items, I thought I would tell you about a few things that are coming up. Uh, next week is my birthday. <laughs> So we thought we would have just a little in-store party. It is Thursday the 14th of April and we're gonna have a cake and you can come in have a piece of cake kind of like a little party. We're gonna have a free fat quarter for everyone who comes in to the store. Uh, we're also going to offer that free fat quarter with every online order. And then if you're in the store, um, you will also get a ticket for a drawing for a nice gift basket. The gift basket right now is valued at over $150. It has got a beautiful Island Batik layer cake in it. It has a handy caddy for storing your sewing notions while you're sewing. It's got a beautiful book with seasonal quilting projects. Uh, it's got one of our fabric garden rulers. It's got a couple little miniature patterns. Uh, it has a cute panel. It has a kit for making zipper bags. So it's got a pattern. It's got the little clips you need. It has the fabric batting and zipper. It has everything you need to make a couple of zipper bags. And we have a cute little notebook, a Moda Kathy Holden notepad. Um, oh, and hiding down in here is a Best of Morris charm pack from Moda. So that's how it's sitting right now. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I'm this way when I Christmas shop. I think I'm done and then I keep adding. So this basket is sitting next to me on my desk. And whenever I feel like it, I'm just gonna continue to add to it till next Thursday. So by next Thursday, it'll have a lot more fun stuff in it. But right now it has over $150 worth of merchandise. The other thing that I wanted to talk about is starting tomorrow, we will have a Facebook Live contest every week. It will go from Friday to Wednesday. To participate, you need to be subscribed to our newsletter, to follow us on our Facebook page, and then each week to share that Facebook post onto your Facebook page. So we're starting out uh, with a $10 gift certificate to the winner and we will draw the winner each Thursday during our Facebook Live. So watch for that on our Facebook page starting tomorrow. The other thing that's coming up very quickly is Quilt Rush, which is our annual shop hop with nine other shops in the area. And that is going to be, I wanna say it's May 11th through the 14th. I'm just talking from memory, so I hope I'm right. Um, but we do have a blog post on our website for that. So we have nine participating shops. If you, you start at whichever shop you want, you get a passport. 
and you travel from Wednesday through Sunday, you travel to the nine shops. Oh, it's I was wrong. How's that? It was May 11th through the 15th. So that is a Wednesday through Sunday and the shops participating are Cloth Carousel, Fabric Garden, Friends Around the Block, Pieces of Love, Quilt Corral, Runs with Scissors, Sew in Peace, Swifty Stitches, and Villa Rosa Designs. So at each shop you'll get your passport stamped and each shop will have a free Villa Rosa pattern for you and a cut of fabric and possibly some other little goodie that they may have tucked in your bag for you. So that's in May and that's coming up really fast. We're like five weeks away from this, so it should be a lot of fun. Um, I don't know about the other shops, but we always make sure that we have brought in lots of fun things for you that we w might not normally have. So, I haven't even talked about the blocks of the month. Uh-oh. So, take a moment. We still, what we did with Westport, we sold out on the king size quilts yesterday. So we took a look, we had enough fabric to do six more long twins. So what we've done, it seems like the king size is more popular. So we have transferred some fabric out of the long twin category and into the king category. So we have added two more king size kits left for the Westport block of the month. Uh, Julie is at quilt camp this week and she should have our sample top finished when she gets back so we'll be able to see the full thing and we will be starting that this month so so don't wait because we will be getting going here. Um, the other thing blocks of the month that are coming up uh, both are scheduled to start in June and one is the wool be humble which is a flannel background with wool applique and the other one coming up in June, and we really haven't had much time to talk about it yet, and we'll talk about this more next Thursday, is it's called Easy Living. And this is a pieced and applique block of the month. I know the pattern is written fusible applique, but you can use any method that you would prefer. What makes this block of the month unique is that the backgrounds are all Moda towelings. So they make some nice designs with the stripes on the toweling. And then we will be using a line of fabric from a basic gray called Decadence for the applique on the quilt. So we will talk more about that next week, but there is a link uh, for you to visit to see that. Um, you can always look at everything you can either click the link in the description of the live video or you can go to the front page of our website and there's a banner that says facebook live so you can visit it that way also okay so we've got a couple things on sale for you we have put our moda cake mix on sale for you these are regularly 12 dollars, and we have put them on sale for nine dollars if you're not familiar with Moda Cake Mix, I am going to, I'm gonna open, well, here's one that's open. Moda Cake Mix is a paper, very similar, I'm going to compare it to triangle paper. So um, the difference is when you buy triangle paper, it is all one size. But with the Moda Cake Mix, each sheet, it is designed to work with a layer cake, and each sheet will have a ver different sizes of half square triangles. And um, I'll see if I, you can see it here, but it will also do like four patches. So it's very simple. You lay two cake mixes together, usually a solid and a print, and you lay the paper on top you stitch on the lines, it's all numbered. You just follow the numbers and stitch. Cut on the solid lines and press your pieces. 
each layer cake, each cake mix will show you some examples of blocks that can be made. Um, recipe 12 is one of my favorites because it does churn dash and I love this little block right here. It's really fun and I've done that one. Um, here's recipe seven, does all sorts of things. And then there's recipes like cake mix three is pretty much all the same size half square triangles. So each cake mix comes with 44 sheets or they call them recipe cards. And a layer cake has 42. So there's a couple extra sheets in case you make a boo-boo. But what is fun is you can almost design your own quilt here because you've got examples of blocks that you can make. Um, you could do a little photocopying and lay some blocks out and you could come up with your own quilt design. You can even mix layer cakes. You do have to check that you're making compatible size blocks, but it'll tell you on here what size blocks these are that you're looking at and you can mix also out on the Moda blog, their cutting table blog, there are all sorts of patterns that are free downloads for using the cake mix. So this is a great product. There are 12 cake mixes and we have put those all on sale for you for this week. The other thing we put on sale is we carry, um, if you've been in the shop, we carry a lot of different greeting cards. And we do carry some boxed greeting cards. Uh, we carry a set of thank yous, a set of sympathies, and a set of congratulations. And these are from a company that works all eco-friendly. Eco so the cards are all made, the paper is all recycled and it's a nice heavy weight, it's not chintzy or anything. And they are, um, the boxes are nice. These are bamboo boxes and they have a uh, acrylic lid. So when you're done using, there's 16 cards in here, there's four styles in each box and four of each style. So there's 16 cards in each box and when you're done with the box, you can either use it as a picture frame or it is a box. You could put little sewing notions in there, little English paper piecing project. Uh, the box you will continue to use. It isn't something you'll throw in the trash. Um, these are already priced pretty low, $16 for 16 cards. So that's only a dollar a card. Let's face it, if you go out to the store, you're going to pay what at least four dollars for a card if not more so um we didn't do a giant markdown on this because we do already do a great price on it but for the week they will be 14 dollars um, when you click on the link you will be able to see all four styles that are in each box and take a look at those so that is what we have for you tonight and i thank you so much for joining us we really appreciate it and we look forward to helping you with your quilting and seeing you next week.